Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the end of a new beginning of mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mocklover. And right now, we have the Scramble for Africa event finally on May 3rd, 1880. Winds of change rush over Europe, and eyes now turn to Africa, where in the past much of the Dark Continent was inaccessible. Now with the widespread use of railways and vaccinations comes the attentions of the vying great powers. The same powers whom now lust after the rich resources and expansive lands to be found within the Dark Continent. I love that picture because it reminds me of Victoria too. It looks like it's literally straight from there, but we must exploit the continent before the other great powers get to it. The vile scrabble for the loot for loot that ever disfigured the history of the human consciousness. Joseph Conrad. A continent of Dawkins. Oh, looks a code to Caliphate. That's really cool. Also, okay, so I've got to talk about a couple things here. So, we ended the last episode in which we were fighting the uh, the good old Brits. Well, I got pissed off enough. Well, maybe not really. I shouldn't say pissed off. I just got tired of it. I, I wasn't angry. It just his face is looking really kind of flattened. But I just got really tired of it. So I was just like, okay, screw it. I literally just annexed all the enemies that we were, we were at war with and then re-released them. Not as puppets, but just independent nations. Which still kept their focus tree, at least for the UK, so... They still have the unique focus tree, they can still do their things, but... They don't have any puppets now, so... They, they deserve that. And I gave Canada their stuff. Uh, their centrist, I guess. Clear grits, huh? Australia's still pretty much... I think the way we left it, so... As well as New Zealand, to a degree. The Papua tribes. Other than that, I mean... These places are kind of independent, but... I'm not going to deal with... A constant war. So, we're done with that war, and I'm not going to go back to it, hopefully. We still have soldier station there, and we have no manpower because I made our guys 40 combat with for horses. <laughs> Which maybe was probably a bad idea, but oh well. We'll deal with that later on. And right now we're building up a lot of farms to maybe get, what is it, five more weekly manpower. So it's not a lot, but it is what it is. We have some comms to go through as well. And hopefully, and we have done some uh, more focuses that, uh, since the end of this episode. I can't remember if we did insurance against validity, so we'll insure our workers against invalidity, whatever the causes for it may be. I've done against accidents. Accident, accidents can cripple a person not only literally, but also economically. We should provide aid to the ones suffering from the consequences. Ooh, commander training. And we're also doing um, our intelligence agency just because we can. Propaganda schooling is kind of nice. Cool. Let's see. We've also done against illness. Illness can strike a worker at any time and seemingly at random, so we should help the suffering in this regard as well. And I've done institute pensions. We'll institute pensions for citizens that have worked for it long enough so that they may, they may enjoy their older age. We've done foreign policy. We must decide on our foreign policies. Pretty easy. And we're currently doing the rest of the role. We will have to decide on our policy regarding the other nations of the world. And there's voters protesting in the Leeward Islands. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. And which, just keep the peace and push the idea of universal suffrage. Akoya Tenmei, raiding tribe detected. Most prefer a pending raid. Um, so, like, we own the Gold Coast now. I'm not sure how we did that. Was that because of the French? Or because of the British? I'm not really sure, but... <clears throat> we have it now. Um, yeah, what, what, what is this? Koya? Um, is this us? When did we get Sierra Leone? Uh, maybe we took this from them, took them from the British, maybe as well. I'm, I'm not really sure, I'll be honest, so. Uh. Okay. Sure. Why not? And then within eight days, they're going to launch an invasion against us, which is not very good, probably, for us. But, hey, it is what it is, I guess. Other than that, I don't think I've done anything else off screen too much. Aftermath of the protest, no conflict, at least, and it's uh, civilly. And we still have our garrisons here. Just literally just normal infantry divisions. Oh look, the Cologne Cathedral's the tower's finished. A day to remember for all the citizens of Cologne. For all the people in Germany and all for all Catholics worldwide, the towers of the Cologne Cathedral have finally been finished. This great monument of Gothic architecture will not only inspire faith in all the Christians, it also serves as a demonstration of the German art of engineering. With the roof framework being the largest structural steelwork on earth, at least at the time being, this is worthy of a great ceremony. Awesome! And now they're going to try to beat us up, even though this division... I think I threw on... Yeah, I threw on... Recon company, so. And because I had to annex people um, and do that, I guess we have a lot of guns now. And I've got a lot of equipment, so. I just, I didn't want to deal with it anymore. I just did not want to deal with that war. It made no sense. Uh, German-Korean treaty, huh? European policy. Uh, one of the comments said, don't go guarantee, especially if we want to continue playing. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm going to keep going down this way. I think in the future I'll play as Germany again someday. But maybe when they get, like, reworked, maybe the, maybe, you know... Our overhaul, we'll say. So we'll see what happens about potatoes and sugar. Potatoes and sugar root are by far the most profitable crops we could grow. Let's focus on those, shall we? We shall. Very cool.
an electric tramway is very nice. And stuff is all headed down, so we'll grab some petrol combustion engines because it's not ahead of time. Uh, we got some heavy armament just because I think that's a naval doctrine. So we did fairly well with this against the British Navy, even though we didn't really find a lot of them. Actually, do they still have any manpower? They have a little bit of manpower back. Um, they have both the 12 divisions. Uh, I guess we probably deleted their fleet when we annex them, but honestly, I don't really care. I really don't care about the British. So uh, it's their fault that France and Russia became our puppets. Oh, hello. There we go. Look at that. Are we winning? 120... Oh, wait, wait, look at this guy. We've got a colonial militia. So this, uh, this must be part of the mod. The border defense is successful. The raiding party was, was successfully warded off. The border stockpiles are safe for now. They won't loot or stockpiles that easily. Nice. Very good. So we had that one division, but... Uh, where did, you're supposed to go over here. So, not bad. Um, Hello. Who is this? Wait, what? why can we see this? Oh, you're our puppet. That's why. Ew. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, I had to beat these guys up or just pretty much use cons commands because I'm not going to deal with it. I don't think we have too much mouse. I guess we technically have this too, I guess, now. Let's run, I think, the f war against the French. Sultan of Asia? Uh, let's see. Gerhard Graf or Otto? We would have gotten him Gerhard. So, oh, look at that. More, wait. More leader experience gaining plus one entrenchment. Age baby faced. Well, Otto, you're looking kind of weird, but all right. You guys, you guys, and then you guys. Cool. Communications. Let's do some wiretapping, because why not? Why not? H and E stain. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. I guess we'll go next with early vaccinations. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We want the best thing that you could possibly do, is, and is colonize Africa, right? Colonial ambitions. Colonization mechanics, hopefully, which we can do okay with. And manpower keeps going up, which I love, love, love. 0.71. Oh, it went down. 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Come on, go back up. Oh, it's going back down. God dang. No, other direction. Other direction. There it goes. Yeah, 0 0.7. 0 0.72. Oh, yeah. Because we're building a lot of farms. Which, I, I don't know why, but hold on. Like, this image of the farms that it shows us. I don't know why, but I instantly think of Ohio. I'm not sure why. Ohio is such a state in the Union. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, definitely a state in the Union. So, other than that. I mean, we're still in the same faction as before. We're <laughs> really expansive. I, I don't like that we're called the Russian Allies. Can we, can we rename this? That sucks. Thermal power stations, but... With the Ottoman Empire, the German Empire, the Russian Empire, and the French people... And Af Afghanistan, I forgot, was with us as well. And the Ottoman puppets, and then our little African territories down here. Actually, this is a good way to... Oh! Do we own this too? Oh. Oh, Gabon, that's right. We do own them. That's right. We own you. Can I say that early? Can I say that now? Oh, cool. Uh, cool. Potatoes and sugar. We love potatoes and sugar. I see. Wiretapping. Well, we love wiretapping. Just ask Richard Nixon. Anyway, anyways. Um, Mao's infantry rifles. Ministry of War. Expanding the budget. Imperial authority. Always false. From here on, on the branches and finishing lacking a lot of content. Well, that's all right. Yeah, let's do some. We'll get by the Social Democrats. Let's do in Denmark. We'll begin Germanization efforts in the territory of Schleswig. Just because it feels good. Well, m well, maybe not for the people there, but for us, it makes us feel very good about uh, doing stuff, we'll say. In the, in the Caribbean Islands, well, I don't care what the Caribbean Islands want. I don't care. What I care about is whether we can make Germany better. And right now, we're lacking supplies and resources, I should say. More steel, huh? And steel requires coal and cotton, I think? What was it? What was it requires steel? These steel places require... Which we're trying to make more. Iron and coal. If we have enough coal for now, 30,000 manpower, very nice. So that is raw iron. And we need iron as well as coal. And we have about 59 coal. So we get a little bit more steel, which would be kind of nice. Which, you know what? We can probably go and expand the Brandenburg coal mining industry. It's not much. It's, a little, it's it tells cost 50 PP, but that's all right. Also, I forgot to say that we did get some uh, this, the, the armor company, which doesn't help us that much, speed and stuff. We also got the ship manufacturer, Stettener uh, Maschinenbau Aktien Gesellschaft. We have Spandau, it's like normal, and then we have Hel Helmut von Mölkti. Just because I thought Army Doctrine, Daily Army XP gain is probably really important. Helps us with our land doctrine, of course, even though we're not really using it. We could have got more Daily Naval XP, but we're already pretty good on that stuff. And Otto Littenthal, well, more Daily Air XP would have been nice, but hey, it's alright. Propaganda schooling? How about more propaganda schooling? I love propaganda schooling, and we are a spy master. Go figure. 
I'll keep getting that manpower. And then we're going to keep building up our civvies and more industry and just stuff all around. So that's a goal. We need a lot more cavalry equipment, though. Actually, what do we have here? Oh, I made RML field guns because we need them for some technologies. So not going to use them, but we have them. Nice. But a couple comments. Can I make Bulgaria bigger? Well, I guess technically yes. But that means I have to give them territory. And that means basically we would lose the territory that I rightfully earned from the Ottoman Empire. And I want to make them strong, so... Um, I could kill Bulgaria, but I don't think I want to do that. So Bulgaria, I think, is looking kind of sad, but... We'll go keep Bulgaria like this, because I don't want to hurt the Ottomans. The Ottomans need as much strength as they could possibly get. Until the next war boils over. Mono raiding party detected. Oh, no, 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 no. Where is this one? Uh, hello. Why is supply so bad? Is it... Local naval bases limits to three. Okay, so we need to improve our naval limits here, then. There you go. Make two naval bases there. We should prepare for a border war. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to be killing a lot of Africans. Can I say that? I, I said it, and I'm not going to take it back. Oh, look, the Cathedral of Celebration. After more than 632 years of construction, the Cologne Cathedral has finally been completed very recently. With a towering height of over 157 meters, it currently is the largest, largest building in the world. But the tallest one. And possibly an allegory made of stone of Germany's great future. Hip hip hooray! Traditional conservatism and legislative power sign us up. Oh, look at that! Colonial power, daily gain. Oh. This is your nation's colonial power, a measure of the political and economic power your country has over the African continent based on the total number of factories you have. Oh. Wait, so any more factories then? Colonial power factor from... Oh. Colonial stock brokering? Um, well, okay. Well, I'm moving you two back up. You know, screw it. Make it three. Unrest in the Caribbean? No one cares about the Caribbean. Why should we care about the Caribbean? How do I... Can I colonize? How can I beat people up? Can I beat people up? I want to beat... I want to beat people up. I love propaganda schooling, so go back to school, take out some more debt, and uh, be in debt, be a debt slave forever like we are. Like most of us are, maybe. Well, definitely like me. Um, can I, can I raid you? Can I, can I beat you up? In Denmark? And in France? Our acquired territory in Alsace will be Germanized, which is not going to do anything, but that's okay. 15, okay. How do we improve this? Current max power is 1904. Um, I'm not sure about there's anything I can really do. Can, can I just... Can I go to Africa and do some fun stuff with them? Hmm. I don't see anything here. There's, there doesn't look like there's any decisions here for any part of Africa. Please try to beat me up. Please try it. Please. I don't see any decisions. I just want to colonize you, man. How do I... It might not be in the game yet, maybe. I would love to take him over, though. Oh, look. There we go. Look at that. Oh, no. It's three divisions because you had the... Extra little division. Okay. Wow, that was fast. Holy crap. Um. There you go. Good luck. Goodbye. Catch you later. Voting protesters in Northern Bahamas. I don't care about the Bahamas. Except that they still under us. Oh, look at that. The Keogh Canal preparations. We have to deal with some administrative issues and measures of... I measure out the territory where the canal is being built on. Additionally, we shall set up a construction plan. This will all take us about a year. Keogh Canal preparations. Oh, yes, please. Okay, go back to school. Take some more debt. Aftermath of North Bahamas. Protest, no one cares. Seriously. I don't think even they care. Oh, look at that. We're down here, too. Oh, I didn't get this territory. Uh, you know what? That's British Guiana. You know what? For them being douchebags to us, I think I'm just going to keep that. It's not worth very much, but... I think we're just going to keep all these islands. Because we deserve them. After what the British did to us. Evil Brits. Evil Brits. I think we're getting more man... Is it supposed to be five? It says five manpower weekly. How many How many of these have I built? I don't think I've built that many. Sierra Leone, how are we doing for supplies? Oh, we're doing quite well. Good. That's all we really need for that one. So, 15 out of... Heavy armaments. Very cool. Well, let's come back over here. Mechanical stuff. Um, That's all. So this stuff is all done. Process engineering. We got to do more synthetic oil because we can. Um, 
So, it's just supposed to be very historical where, like, we slowly get colonies, and, like, the French colonized, and the Brits colonized, and maybe we can get the Urlant. Oh, look, Colonial Progress and State. What is that? What is that? Send Explorers. Oh, look at that, 31 out of 1920. Wait, why did this pollen pop up? Colonial Progress and State? Are we... No. Hmm. Oh, wait, so we can't do this group, so I guess we can only do it on the coast, maybe? Send explorers, which costs us some legislative power. Oh, please, send a trade mission. We could probably send a trade mission. Oh, it's all grayed out. I hold a speech, people will love it. Yeah. The procedure is supposed to go smoothly. Okay, Raj, okay. Uh, seeing how our government has been very stable in the last few months, very cool. In France, Calcutta World is fair, that's kind of cool. And I guess we'll do church strikes next. We will organize strikes in churches to control religion in our country. That sounds like you actually really, really backfire, but whatever. Uh, alienators? Alternate. <laughs> alienators. Alternators. Colonial stockbrokering? Yes, please. Oh, max colonial power. Oh, it's subjugation versus native cooperation. Well, I'll go with colonial law next, so. We're 39. Please, please. Oh, what is that? Pressure for protectorate treaties. Oh, man. Take direct control. Um, I kind of want to just take direct control, I'll be honest, man. Control Gion, Guinea. Oh, look, they're actually, uh, Catholic down there. Madagascar, Madagascar, Madagascar. Okay, so we're doing the propaganda blueprint stealing, perhaps, maybe? How do I enslave the natives? Hmm. I guess they'll use more guns down here, but additionally some more, uh... Okay, with that many guns we've got, I think we just do this. That's fine. Uh, we, we have enough of that stuff, but still. A couple comments as well. Someone recommends we go to war with Austria-Hungary and just annex them all. Like, it, it annex all of it to make, like, Super Germany like you can do in Victoria 2. Uh, I'd like to do that, but someone also recommends we just take all the German states and puppet and satellite the rest of the non-German states, such as... Probably Bosnia and Hungary. That could be a huge Hungary, really. That's a massive Hungary that we really wanted a massive Hungary. The southern part of Galicia, Logomeria. Probably eat up the Czechs, too, because the Czechs... Are they honorary Germans sometimes? I, keep, they, I think they're occasionally considered honorary Germans. I don't know. I guess it depends on your opinion of what German is. 47. Please, I just... just act, natives, please. I just want to... Mm, button click, please. Ah, cool. So, yeah, at least we're continuing with the campaign for now. We'll see how far we can go. It's already 1881. And actually, oh, not paid licenses. Cancer military access. Blueprint stealing, cool. Wire tapping. Taping, tapping, whatever it is. Yeah, 48.37 thousand manpower. 48.6 thousand manpower. 51 thousand, jeez, manpower, wow. a lot of manpower. 51.48 electric arc furnaces. Very cool. We can grab some of that. Better coal mines because we can. Finish all of these farms up. It says, says five every week. It seems like it's going up by too much. It really does. Please. Can someone else try to raid me? I just want to... Mm. Oh, when's, when's the next tech going to be done? In two weeks for oil refineries, and then actually we have the church strikes almost done. We could side with the Catholics, in which Catholicism has been a long tradition in Germany, and has represented in prosperous states like Bavaria. We should encourage it, or we're going to side with the Protestants. As the birthplace of Protestantism, Germany should be its bare end of the world. Very cool. Ah, oh, shining a light. Actually, can we see like the demographics of all of Germany? Like, Because I think we're majority Protestant. I mean, we have a lot of Catholics here, which is totally fine and all, but... Traditionally, southern Germany was more Catholic, but, you know, whatever. What do I know? All I want is an oil refinery level 3. And more resource efficiency gain, because we're lacking a few bits of uh, iron. Or steel, I should say, because we get enough iron. Wire tapping, cool. Go the, do the next one. Side with the Protestants. 55, it goes up. 
I want Togo B. Actually, we already own Wida. Why the heck are we down there? Maybe we need maybe we need a, an actual division here, here. But that doesn't make any sense because we would be able to do it here since we already have these guys down here too. Hmm. Actually, we have 84% stability and it's going down by 0.2. Thank goodness for August. And actually, we still are at 62.9% almost. Colonial law. I love colonial law. All right. So we got to figure out: Do we want to cooperate with them? Native land reserves or just subjugation? I think I want subjugation. Now, now that sounds like a lot of fun. And just in case, I'm going to read the next focus for us. Just, just to keep things moving along a little bit more. In which we we'll should probably do some European policy, or maybe we'll do some Agrarian culture. Let's do that one. Agrarianism has, lo has a long history and tradition in Germany, which we must fuel, f must fuel further. All right, everyone. So we're not that far ahead, but um, as you can see, we kind of expanded our territory down here just a little bit. We've got about 127 colonial power down here, and uh. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So we go up to an African state. And we say, hello, Africans. We are just explorers here. We're having a good time. And then we say, we, how about a trade mission? And they're like, okay. And then we're like, how about we establish a trade post so we can trade goods faster and more quickly with each other? And they're like, okay. And then we give them a military guarantee. And then we pressure them. <laughs> pressure them with, you know, not super, not a high amount of pressure, but for protector treaties. And then, uh... All we need left is a little bit more political power, and then, uh... <clears throat> we can end up requesting oath of loyalty. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? Screw it. You guys get, get over here, too. I don't want to use infantry for guarding territories, but it, it, at this point, I think we kind of need to. Um, we have... Quite a bit of territory already. A lot more than I thought we would... Wow, this is... There's a lot of small states here. Holy crud. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go down the coastline as much as we possibly can. Um, yeah. Oh, and I, I, I guess we lost a lot of political power because I was trying to get some more influence so we could just research things faster or, you know, get more consumer goods just so... Well, we have 58,000 manpower, so I'm thinking that's pretty good so far. Uh, great work of art. The German citizenry recent, or citizen recently became quite renowned internationally when he created a masterpiece of art. This is apt to impress our neighbors who now perceive us to be superior to them culturally for a bit now. You know what? Great. Let's request oaths of loyalty followed up with Dirt, take direct control. Now we only have 95 colonial power, but if you see what I do with a click of a single button, take direct control, we get 135. We got 40 more back. Get out of our land. <laughs> oh, we got the resources. Oh, yes. Oh, I love Africa. And then we just do it all again. Once we have enough, of course, enough PP. So right now, we need a lot more PP. I love colonial subjugation. I love African warfare. This is going to come back and haunt me, I'm sure. But, oh, I love it. Oh, it's too much fun. That's why I love Vicky, too. Oh, look at that. Would you set pressure for protectorates? Yeah, we need more PP. Um, yeah, the German Empire is looking kind of mighty thick over there. Oh, uh, it looks like the Portuguese might be doing the exact same thing. The Gaza Emp... Is it? Gaza? Oh, Gaza. Is it... Hmm. Great, a successful border defense. And you know what that means. How about more colonies? Ah, uh, thank you. You don't even get a say in what gets to happen. God, this is great. We, sh we should do this in real life? Hmm. Hmm. But we're, we're done building up the farms. We're building up a lot of roads. And more civilian stuff? Major, uh, I'll pay, I don't know who's doing stuff. I don't, I don't really care. More civvies. The Palatinate. Cool. More civvies. 250 factories is not nearly enough. I feel like this is TNO where I'm just like building up more civvies for more industry. Government staff for schools are cool. Can people continue to please raid our borders or something? I, I just want to colonize. Please. And by colonize, I mean literally just take over free African territory. And I love trade ports. I hope you love trade ports. We've got some drilling rigs, which is very, very nice. How about we grab... Oh, we're done here then. So we're done with this one. And we're done with mechanical engineering, if I remember correctly. Yes. Biochemistry. Uh, we're pretty much done here as well. Electronics and instruments. Well, we're done here as well. It is only 1881 still. Uh, more daily air XP? Sure, why not? Agrarian culture. And globalization shock. The higher export laws, the more legislative power. Let's do new rotations. We will introduce new rotations. We get more resource efficiency gain. Monthly population. Lose some cap output. It is what it is. So what is our current uh, uh, thing for this? Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. 
This is so much easier than in Vicky 2. Ah, oh, we already lost all that much. Ah, but we are expanding quite a lot. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The Kong Empire. That's kind of cool. The Kong Empire. Come on. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, unrest and... Oh. Every West African state we own has under 10 DC. Oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. The Africans don't like it that we're enslaving them in West Africa. Oh, don't tell them that we're doing that, please. Please don't tell Kotaku. Well, it's still a negative press, but it's still press, so is that good or bad? Um, that's ahead of time. Yeah, I'd love to do that one, but. Fin de Cicel? Screw it. If they want to rise up, rise up. These soldiers, while not the best in the world, they still do pretty darn well. So, actually, are you injured? Where are you? Oh, there's. Ah, oh, I see. Ah, we just put you guys out a little bit more. Government of Cypher Schools, there you go. If you want to come down here, that's fine. Keep building, keep building. And get a sip of water. Alright, so anywhere else I can put you guys. Oh, uh, did I take this? I might have taken this. I can't remember. Um. Oh, you guys can come down here, I suppose, as well. You never know if you're going to have rebellions and such, but, you know, it's better to be prepared than not prepared. To homie? I don't care about the homie. If they want to rise up, go ahead and try it. We literally have soldiers there ready to kick your butts. Did I take this? I might have taken this. My bad. Oh, did I take this too? Eh, it's alright. We could probably defend that for realsies. Um, other than that, I think I took Singapore, but then I gave it back. Ooh, vaccines? Yes, inject me with that good stuff. Germ theory. Alright, so this is all stuff done. Like we said, electronics are done. Aviation is pretty much done. So let's do economic stuff. And you know what I'm forgetting right now? I'm forgetting about the Kiel Canal. I cannot forget that. Kiel Canal preparations. Thank you very much. Aftermath of the protest. No conflict. That's what I thought. Try it again. 67,000. Not bad. Oh, you know what time it is? You know, you know what I love? You know what I love? Click, 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 click. Oh, we need to take, take our control. Oh, look at those resources we got now. Oh. oh, I love wealth. This is just straight under us. Now, there's getting more resistance here, which sucks. But it's slowly will get more and more compliance, hopefully. What do you mean high compliance? Uh, that's not high compliance. I don't I don't know what they mean. I don't think, I don't think that they know what uh, high means. Beautiful. And so we're done with all this stuff for now. Kind of sucks, not going to lie. <laughs> Alright, well, ugh, I love African warfare. No, they're actually, in, in like, modern-day Africa, there, there are some really good places to be. Now, I wouldn't want to live there or anything, but, you know, parts of Africa are, are pretty well advanced, so. Especially Nigeria. I, Nigeria is such a big state. Such a massive population in Nigeria. South Africa, obviously, even, even parts of Egypt and Ethiopia, maybe, so. And I want to build roads. I'm sorry. I've got to build more roads. Industry and roads. Are we missing any more resources? Still a little bit more steel. Um, new rotations are nice and all. Iron. How about iron? Not bad. Well, let's get going down with artificial fertilizers. Artificial fertilizers will greatly boost the output for our Algerian economy or industry. I know. It feels so wrong doing that. It, it really is wrong, but someone did recommend it early on, early on ahead of everyone else. I'm like, okay. I've got to satisfy your, your wishes. Not your needs. No, I'm not satisfying your needs. Well, maybe some of your needs in which you like watching me play uh, Toy Force, so I do appreciate you watching. So, Von Blumenthal, very cool. It's kind of sucks. We, we now we know we'll never have another war with the French again, at least until they rebel. Um, the Italians? I, mean, I don't mind beating up some Italians. I'm just in the Caribbean islands. No one cares. Uh, that? Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? Thanks. Thanks. We can't do it against states that are more inland, which kind of suck. But hey. That's okay. Let's take a look at all the resources we can get from down here. 89% stability and war support. Look at all this. Oh, it's a good coal, wood, textiles, or fabric, raw iron, and cotton. Jeez, I love Africa. Mm. That's like probably my seventh favorite continent. Cool. It looks 73,000 manpower. These fact these these you know farms are OP, man. They're, they're I think they're working overtime or something. I don't know how we're getting this much manpower back, but 
After our very, very incredibly violent wars against the Russians, the French, and the Ottomans, Ashanti. I think we have guys down there, don't we? We should have more than enough guys actually down here. We have 60 divisions in total, so. And Ashanti are the, the green ones right here. And uh, what is this? Kumasi? Cool. We got some Fenda Sykesel. I, I'm obviously saying that wrong. But whatever. And special projects. We're kind of stuck with. So we're done with all this for now. Air doctrines? Air accidents chance? I mean, I should really be doing infantry stuff because that's much more important to do. But I have a new interest. Africa. We didn't get anything from that except a lot more people to govern. Man, we're going to end up like Hans Hutik here then. Just. <laughs> this is Hans Hutik's gross African Reichstadt in <laughs> 1881. <laughs> I love it. Man, we're building up so much more. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go with one more here, and I'm going to go for another set of farms. Go with that. Go with some more farms. And they built another one of these. There you go. Nice. Ostmark. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm game for building up more infrastructure now. Like, ooh, naval administration. We can buy more ships, but no, that'd be a waste of stuff do, do the a does the ai not do anything regarding like coloniz colonizing or anything because eventually you like oh maybe we should start on a colony down here hmm oh, oh oh look we're getting oh earthquakes in the rhineland the early morning hours of today in the rhineland was dominated by destruction and terror as a major earthquake struck near the city of Cologne, demolishing a lot of buildings and killing or injuring hundreds of our citizens recovery efforts are under underway terrible oh we might actually lose here because well Oh, never mind. Okay, that's good. Good job, guys. Good job. Artificial fertilizers followed up with population growth. A fast population growth will strengthen our empire. Uh, world war for this will depend on population growth law stagnation with encouraged. Less, less uh, legislative power gain, less consumer goods, but 15% more monthly population. Not bad. Because we're going to be making babies so crazy. We already have 49 and a half million people who are un our core population. But then another 30 million that are non-core. Which is not great, but within a generation, hopefully we'll have like a... Oh man, we could have 100 million. That'd be really good. Go back to infantry stuff. Oh, you know what? Gewehr 88. Wait, why is it Gewehr 88? It's only 82. I'm not going to question it. Nope. I'm not going to question that. Oh, well, it's a speech. And just We've seen that a few times already, so... Oh, Tokugawa Shogun invites us to the fair? Yes, yes, we'll join the Japanese. The Greater Edo World Fair. I love the Japanese. Who doesn't love the Japanese? You know who doesn't love the Japanese? Japanese haters. Oh, raids and such. Oh, that's all. Oh, that's literally all one big. T oh, wow. I want Zanzibar. I love Zanzibar. Actually, the music of Zanzibar is very quite interesting, I'd say. It's very Middle Eastern, it sounds like so. Mm. Screw up the Portuguese. You know what, just in case. I doubt we can get down here too, but you know what? That's alright. Just, wow. I'm not sure if we can get these guys at all, but I kind of doubt it, but whatever. Um, nope, these guys cannot be taken. So, all right, go. Wow, that's like full. That was like 29 plus 13 plus one division. So, I like 43 divisions. Holy smokerinos. I can't. This is Spanish, so. All right, next up. More colonizing. <laughs> we got so much colonial power. 185 versus 2154. Current max is 2154. What's not to love? What's just not to love? Uh, uprest. Un unrest. <laughs> Who cares about unrest? Can we do anything here? No. Guinea? Yes. Seriously, we could use more... Uh, how do we get more political power? Hmm. Next issue will be done in two weeks. I guess we can read the next one. Uh, let's see. Produce agrarian machines. Ambassadors in chemistry. More group of population. Globalization shook. Shock. I guess we can do that one. We need to adapt to globalization. The higher your export laws... The more legislative power you'll gain from this focus? And I'll do this one instead. Produce agrarian machines. We need more machines to aid our farms. So we need to look at our export law. But after we do this one. 
Semi-automatic exploration. Cool. Rifle bayonets. Nice. Export law. Where are we on export law? Demographic. We need we need more babies. Like just start just pooping babies out. Every woman is required to have at least seven kids. Because I don't think the men can have babies. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong, but as long as the women are having seven babies each, we're gonna have a lot of unemployment in the future. <laughs> uh, let's see. Potential reserve. Where is what is it? What the economy? Demographics, internal budgets, basic infrastructure, police force. I don't care about the homie. Oh, oh no, we need to do this. We need to get decent health care. Yeah, that, we could probably do that. We'll do some PP and some consumer goods, but more... Oh, we're going to get good health care. We've got to get better health care. Uh, let's see, decent infrastructure, basic infrastructure. Oh, uh, well, that's good for now. Wait, where is it? Cultural and education. Oh, government policies. Limited elections, constitutionally constitution adopted. Uh, dispute of the Constitution. The German Constitution was supposed to resolve most issues regarding law, but nothing is ever per perfect. And unclear articles that led to a big debate in the court recently. In the end, the decision came down to us. It's always right. Change the Constitution. We're not going to change the Constitution because someone is, doesn't know what's going on. Just leave me be and let me colonize. We're snaking around Africa. I love Africa. Oh, wait. Oh, oh you guys have a lot of resistance there. Look at that. Nice. Uh, export. Cultural education. So, what is this? This one is non-socialist trade unions, I think. Non-political trade unions. Oh, no. Freedom of assembly laws. Non-socialist free. Okay. High judge courtroom. Secular. Oh, we have a secular state. We gotta go back to the theocratic state. What type of crap is that? Alright, so we're done with that. We're done with this stuff. It's only 82, so we got quite some time before we do anything here. Aviation, well, we've got some time before we can do that stuff. Uh, this stuff, we're pretty much done. And like I said earlier, biochemistry is pretty much done for now. I don't want to research things that are 1,400 days ahead of time. Everything else here is ahead of time. Is, well, we're done with that stuff for now. Uh, that's the problem with too much tech. Like, it, you can get lost if you really don't know the mod that well. I guess we can go with airbase, because why not? Probably use some doctrine stuff, but it's all right. More civvies? Anybody? This is just like TNO, man. Except instead of money, we got Africans to enslave. Oh, give me that pee pee. Oh, you just won? What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Come on. Ah, oh, look, colonial de de detrimental colonial. It's not detrimental. Come on, man. It's not detrimental. That's fake news. Fake news. Seriously, where's our export law? Open schools. Oh, it's... Oh, we're on limited exports. Well, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Maybe we should try to improve that. Export focus. Let's just try to go for that one. Let's vote in a month and see what happens. Let's pause it. Okay, there's a lot of lag. Hold on. 720 army XP. Wow. Okay, the game is lagging. It's, oh, don't, please don't crash. Okay. I should not have crashed right there, so. Uh, okay, we have 151. These traditional conservatives are mostly in favor of it. A majority are in favor. While the centrists are almost a majority in favor, so 151. I'm feeling pretty good about that, then. Advances in chemistry. Go and do... Uh, let's wait for them. Advances in chemistry. We push for advances in chemistry. Who oh, no. Oh, Keokin operations. Oh, I don't care about the Bahamas. Uh, we should do that one next. Yeah, that'd probably be good. We'll lose some uh, consumer goods, some data legislative powers, as much as I want to take out Africans. We're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait just a little bit. So. Um, hey, yeah, there you go. More. we got plenty of destroyers. Probably too many destroyers. Are we not making any cap ships? And it's civilly, that's fine. These gunboats, they're not destroyers, are they? I think they're capital ships, or at least they should be, right? 68 gunboats. Yeah, they are, so, huh. Alright, whatever. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got that one going. That's that's good. That's some good stuff. Real good stuff. Gewehrs are very nice. Gatling gun defense, 10% more. Very good. Very bueno. 152, great. Export. We get one more political stability. Helps our constructions. Wow. Only 269 factories. Darn, but nice. Is that all we can get? Oh, Kyokinop preparation should be done very soon. Good job, guys. Good job. So I think the goal at this point might be to try to get to 1890, maybe? Let's see the kill project. That'd be good. That's going to take a year, which is going to suck, but whatever. Halfway through this focus, not bad. And then we'll get some rifle bayonets. But all the stuff can be weighted just a little bit. Ooh, the two-color camouflage. It's a little bit ahead of time. We we'll probably want to get two-color camouflage. Two-color camouflage makes your soldiers harder to spot. And diverse terrain, like woods. I like the defense. I like the more breakthrough. I think that's quite bueno. And then, after advances of chemistry, we'll probably do globalization shock. We need to adapt to globalization. I'll probably just go ahead and do some new marketing strategies, and we will come up with new marketing strategies. And then world, co world competition, in which we will have to compete internationally to rake in real profit, and we must prepare ourselves for this as well. Just so that unless there's events off screen, I'm just going to keep going down this way for now. Oh, there's North Deutsche Lloyd, okay. And then there's mechanization. Mechanization of farming will increase output. Nice. And feed our soldiers. We need to feed not only our civilians, but our soldiers as well. And army runs on its stomach. And here we are, my friends. May 12th, 1884. We've got some focuses to go through, but a conference about Africa. We shall attend a conference about Africa. And in the meantime, I've pretty much done as much as we possibly can regarding the coastline of Africa. Oh, the conference date is set. The invites have been sent and preparations in our capital have been completed. All that's left, though, is to host the conference. Our time is now. And aftermath of protest, no one cares. The Berlin Conference. Dignitaries from all over the world are gathering in Berlin today to discuss the colonization of Africa, the banning of slavery, and the international politics between the great powers. The results from this conference may echo throughout the ages. Okay, decision on slavery. Slavery has been outlawed all over Europe and the United States of America has fought over a war over the practice. Now we got to decide whether to intervene in the governments of Africa in order to eradicate this abhorrent practice from the dark continent. No, we should interfere in the governments of others, but it should be outlawed. Well, mm, do we like slavery? Hmm, oh. Berlin Conference is voting. Error. Cannot get region. Um, if we pay them, it's not slavery, so, okay. Has outlawed slavery. This morning, the ongoing Berlin Conference has voted to end all slavery within Africa and will take hostile activities or actions against any nation who, within who refuses progress. Um... I kind of like to own this, please. I think the Germans should own this too. Um, I think Guinea. Yeah, I mean, technically, as you see, I already own this whole region down here. Um, I already own a nice little stretch of this part of Africa, also down here. And actually, it was weird because I kept like doing stuff down here. But uh, yeah, it went to our puppet Gabon instead. So he's smoking a little taparillo, maybe, but. Man, oh man. Oh no, I think we should get it. So, as you can see, we got a chunk right there. We got some chunks down. Not that one. We got chunks in uh, Sudwest Africa. Uh, not really much here along the western coast, but we did take all this stuff over here. And Metro Police is pretty nice to get. And it is 84, but there's still not a lot that we can really do. I could do this ahead of time, but. Rendsburg section? I mean, this stuff is still all ahead of town, which is kind of disappointing. Um, so, if we have a bonus for this, I'm just going to just do this one. Because we have so many more days left here. So we got that stuff. Uh, Omani, Somaliland. We can't take this for some reason. We had the option up here earlier. We did take this part, but we don't have the options over here either. So it feels very awkward the way this has been set up so far. We won the region of ben Benin. We get more PP. Yay. Found the Togo Charter? Sure. I'm not sure what that does. But I hope we get a lot of stuff here. Oh, how about over here? Oh no, we still can't take that either. Hmm. Can't take Guinea because it's owned by Mana. All right, so here's the focus that we've been doing. Um, Canon Bu Diplomati. We are a strong empire, and we can steal the idea of gunboat diplomacy for ourselves and apply it now as we continue to vote. I want to go through the other stuff too, but we got to keep voting for ourselves. So, and eh, well, get some coal. Equatorial Africa. Please don't steal it from me. We Gabon is ours. Great. 
Cam rune charter? Oh, get more compliance. Get a lot more resistance too. That's not good. Um, Cam rune is around here, isn't it? Oh, it's going to literally divide everything up. Okay. Are people going to get a little pissed off if we don't give them stuff? They might. Hmm. All right, Telegraph Signal Companies. We've run, run the African Horn. Great. Yeah, there's still not a lot we can do here, which is not making me feel too good about this, but naval mines damage. Just because we have all that naval XP, we might as well. Uh, African Horn. Oh, uh, we, we, we were already given the African Horn. You, I love Uganda. Cuba? Not not Cuba, but Cuba? Uh, Rhodes Uh, Central Africa, yes. Well, this is probably going to be some really bad border gore. We still need to read the other focuses, too, though. Hmm. Niger? Okay. Burkina Faso? Uh, anything? I mean, uh, there's nothing else here. I mean, there's... Oh, what is that? Randall's... Randsburg section? Okay, yeah. That, that's going to take some time, so... A great work of art. We've already read this episode. If you like to read about that, please go ahead. Oh, well, what happened? The Berlin Conference ends. Colonialism has reached Africa. Long ignored by the great European powers, a renewed interest in the continent sparked by the King of Belgium, Leopold II. Many countries rushed to seize the land. Predictably, territorial conflicts emerged. Sensing danger, Portugal, with the support of its long-term ally, England, chose to organize a conference in Berlin to discuss the situation and forge economical ties through the Dark Continent. All countries with holdings in Africa or interests in the region were invited, and rules were set to regulate colonization on the continent. Hopefully, this will ensure peace in Europe while the African people are conquered, but we can only hope as conflicts have already arisen between Germany and Britain over the direct control of colonies, and France buys for more territory at the expense of the English. What will come of this? I hope a whole lot of fun. Oh, wait. The British have claims. Oh, I don't want to go back to war with the Brits. I wasn't able to build any more capital ships. Uh, there's, this is the third time it's happened. If you'd like to read about this, please go ahead. This is, like, this happened twice already off-screen, so I'm not sure what they're doing over here, so... Yeah. Other than that... There's really not much else. The Caribbean Islands still want to rebel. I don't care a crud about the Caribbean Islands. They can have voting rights, but they just can't vote themselves to leave, so... Deal with it. We claim to Cameroon, right? So... Uh, what do you mean we can't... We don't have to justify to go to war? What the heck? <sighs> don't go breaking my heart. And we're building a lot more farms, because we only have 70,000... Well, less than 70,000 manpower, which sucks. But, we've done Imperial Admiralty. We will form the Admiralty. We've done Minister von Sox, for Stosch. Minister von Stosch has proposed some great naval reforms. We should hire him. As well, we've done Marine Inspectors. Marine Inspectors will make sure our ships and their crews are well equipped and trained. We've done Aussie and North Sea bases. The North Sea and Baltic Sea are the first two areas we need to expand our influence in. We should construct some bases there. And we already read this one, which is very cool. And we have Naval Corps. We need a Naval Corps. A follow up, we will do. We will need academies to teach would be naval officers next. And then. I don't care about the homie. And sea battalions. We need a dedicated sea battalions. Would be very nice. Um, other than that, Minister Caprivi has proposed some more great naval reforms. We should hire him as well. Uh, oh, oh, they're killing people. Uh, she shall Vaca. The she shall Vaca must be expanded to improve naval industrial output. Convoys for trade. We need more convoys for Empire. Torpedo boats. Newly invented torpedo boats are capable of dealing massive damage to other ships. We should invest in them. Armored frigates. Armored frigates are capable of withstanding a lot of bombardment by enemy ships and an Imperial Navy. The Imperial Navy uh, has been reformed and properly established. Cool. We can't do this yet because, well, we need quite a bit more. Always false. Zusammenbruch? The economy is cra- Oh, the economy is crashed. That's not good. Yeah, I think- Realistically, the next episode will be the last one, just because I'm. There's not really much that we can do here. Um, I don't know. Let's see, West Africa, West Africa. There's just really not a lot to do, and just it takes so long to get to the next point. I, it, it feels like it's just kind of mm, sluggily going along. I, I'll put it like that. There, I wish there was just a little bit more we could do about this. Like, I love the colonizing thing. Like, don't get me wrong. It's probably one of my favorite parts of this mod, but... There's really not much we can do. Since I've already colonized literally as much as we possibly could right now. Maybe we can get some more colonization done later? I hope. I really hope so. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hey, look! We were below 70,000, but now we're 81,000. The map power just keeps fluctuating. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. But we already put our uh, spies down here, so... 
Can't get any compliance, which really sucks. But the Italians want this area? Wait, did we... Didn't we get the claim of the Horn of Africa? I'm pretty sure we got the Horn of Africa claimed. Italy, get out of here. And Caribbean Islands, no one cares. Other than that, we're, like, like as you can see, we're building up a lot of farms. We want more manpower. And by more manpower, I mean more weekly manpower. We have 307 factories and we're getting raided right now. But machine guns and... Uh, look at look at how much we're... Oh man, that was nice. And recon companies, they do help out quite a bit. No commander? Cool, cool, cool. Coal mining? Why not? Uh, I thought we were, we were secular. But whatever, it is what it is. Yeah, we're building up a lot of farms. Uh, let's finish these guys off first. Cool. And Marine Academy. Cool. I wonder what it takes to be a major colonial power. I mean, we got 921 out of 2,500. That's that's pretty major, I'd say. We can still fight the Social Democrats, and we finished up the Agrarian State already. So, C Battalions are obviously next, but we get some 12,000 more manpower, 50 more PP, which we don't need anymore, and a bonus for enabled transport technology. Not too bad, not too bad. But I've already read everything down here, so we'll read all this stuff, but... Yeah, I just... I feel like this campaign is just dragging on. As much as I love that you guys are watching... That you guys really do enjoy this campaign series. It's just... I'm just sitting here, like... An extra half hour to an hour to two hours just off screen. Just kind of... Literally sitting here watching different YouTube videos. Uh, just, you know, doing stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're... Smoking still. Okay. Don't smoke! You can have colonies in Africa and whip people, but just don't smoke. It's not good for your health. Don't quote me on that one. Hmm. But yeah, there's really not much else here. There really is not much. Like, can we go to war with the Italians? I would love to beat up the Italians. We have Agristat, which is not bad. And we are colonial power. Can we do anything more? A new era of flight. That's cool, right? That's cool. So we're done with our <laughs> air doctrines. And that's all for now. Ship stuff? Um... How about, how about army doctors? Can we, can we finally do this? Why can't we do this? Ah, uh, this is annoying. We need to be in the machine era, but we can't join the machine. Oh, wait, hold on. Can we join the machine era? Oh, we can join the machine era. There we go. We've made significant advancements in industrial buildup and scientific research in the areas of, of different areas. The earlier you want to advance to the next era, the more advanced your country will have to be. Oh, the oil era is next. Okay, there we go. Do we get a change in focus trees or something? Please tell me we can do this. Finally, thank goodness. My apologies. My sneeze are sometimes very, very wild. So what does that mean? We advance to the next era. There's an oil era next in 1900, which I don't know if we'll actually be able to get to there just because it's just taking just so ungodly long. Oh, boy. Uh, we'll get through one more focus before we end the episode, though. We'll do it like that. Uh, only 90,000 manpower. Compared to 88 million people here, it's not enough. How do we make more babies? Core population of 52 million almost. Can, like, can we like get further involved in Africa? I guess as if you let time go on, you can. But state autonomy. How much? What do you guys have? 55 percent. No, oh, that's not bad. Early turrets. Oh, more maximum. Oh, what's that? Oh, no. African border regulations. Okay, we like that. And you guys are almost done. Okay, so when you build up the Kiel Canal, they look like a bunch of military police. Not bad. More PP's okay. Max factories in the state. Petro oh, goodness, no. Uh, Extensionalism. More political power. More outputs. Not necessarily a bad thing to get. It's just slightly ahead of time, so that's not too bad. What happened to our manpower? Oh, I see why. You know why it drops? Because I'm making more uh, infantry divisions. Help put down enemies who wants to rise up against us. If that's the case, no wonder we're losing manpower all the time. There you go. Build the Kiel Randensburg section. Not bad. Not bad at all. How are the French doing? Still led by the same guy. Wow, they are very, very divided. Wow. There's more support for anarchists. The traditional conservative or collective socialists. Okay. And, well, at least the Russians are allies under Grigory Putyatin. Well, 
they're, they're quite unified when it comes to traditional conservatism. Everything else, though, they got a little touch of everything there. He holds a speech. Well, congratulations. Chauvinist pop populism? Who would want to have a world? They want to hold the world's fair down there? Why would you want that? Why, why, why are we all good of destroyers? Got cut a world fair? I don't understand. These are. Uh, screw, screw the destroyers then. Wait, are these all just these? Are, these must all be destroyers then. Screw it, whatever. Whatever. Anything else here? Nope. Anything else here? Oh, mini rifles. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that different from these? Uh. This license. Wait, what? This is a license? I don't know, man. I don't know about that. But I guess we'll end with the Minister Caprivi. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, like I always say. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow as we watch the Orange Free State try to kill off Cape Colony. And we'll try to see if we can keep colonizing. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.